In this video, let us see how to solve Laplace equation. First of all, we want to know what is Laplace equation. So this is the equation called Laplace equation. Do square u by do x square plus do square u by do y square is equal to 0. Or we can simply represent like this del square u is equal to 0. So we are going to solve this Laplace equation using Lipman's iteration method. So for this, we need uh, to remember two formulas. One is called a standard five-point formula. Another is called as diagonal five-point formula. So what is standard five-point formula is u i j. If you want to find out a particular value of u at the point i comma j, so it is given by the formula u i j is equal to one by four into u i minus one comma j plus u i plus one comma j plus u i comma j minus one plus i comma u i comma j plus one. So this is nothing but average of uh, four values. Okay, so average of four values means what are the four values? Those four values of u are which is lying horizontally and vertical. That is adjacent points which is lying horizontally and vertical line. Now let us uh, see the diagrammatic representation for this uh, standard five point formula. Suppose let us consider this is the point u comma sorry u of i comma j. Uh, what about u i minus 1 comma j and i plus 1 comma j? So since i varies along uh, x direction, so this point is u i minus 1 comma j and this will be u i plus 1 comma j. Okay, so you have to consider the horizontal line as uh, like x axis and vertical line as y axis. So horizontal line means here j is fixed, i will vary. So if this uh, midpoint is considered as i, the previous point will be i minus 1 and the successive point will be i plus 1. Similarly, along uh, y direction, j varies. So what about the point here? Since i is fixed here, so i comma, this will be j uh, minus 1 and j and this will be u comma j plus 1. Right? So like this we have to consider the points so which uh, that is we have to consider the four points which lies horizontally and vertical manner and we have to take the average of these four values so that's what we are getting the formulas u i comma j is equal to 1 by 4 into all these sum of all these four adjacent points and which lies horizontally and vertically so it is called as standard five point formula now let us see diagonal five point formula. So here u i j is equal to again same average of four values one by four into sum of four terms. But here the value of u is different. That is we have to choose the value of u which lies diagonally okay in all the four direction. Suppose if you consider this point as u i comma j. What about the adjacent points usually for standard five point formula we used to take the adjacent points which lies horizontally and vertical manner. So we have to go for now uh, diagonal way. So diagonal means here will be one point. Here in the next uh, second row also that will be one point. So now what are the diagonal values to u i comma j? This is one diagonal, this is one diagonal, this is one diagonal and this is one diagonal. So we have to identify these four points and if you take the average of these four points that represents a diagonal five point formula. So if this is u i comma j. What about the above row? Above row means uh, j varies, right? So j will be j plus one. Okay. So that and at the same time here this point i will also vary. So here since it is towards the right side it will be i plus one comma j plus one. Similarly, this will be u i minus 1 comma j plus 1. Similarly, downward here it will be i plus 1 comma j minus 1 and this will be u i minus 1 comma j minus 1. So, likewise we have to consider these points. Okay, and since these points are placed diagonally from u i comma j, we can say that this is a diagonal 5 point formula and uh, to remember this formula, we can uh, remember this diagrammatic representation. So now for Lipman's iteration process, we have to use both standard five point formula and diagonal five point formula. Since uh, standard five point formula have uh, less error, 
we will be using standard 5 point formula always. In some cases, it is not possible. In such case, we will be using diagonal 5 point formula. Now let us see one problem under Laplace uh, equation. So solve the equation dou square u by dou x square plus dou square u by dou y square is equal to 0 which is called as Laplace equation for the following square mesh with the given boundary conditions. So here we have given a square mesh okay, with the boundary conditions. Now what we have to find out here is we have to find out these four intermediate values. right? So here let us assume these values as u1, u2, u3 and then u4 so now our aim is to find the value of u1 u2 u3 and u4 so here only already i told you that we have to use a standard five point formula and a diagonal five point formula which is necessary so here uh, one more thing you have to see here see all the boundary values sometimes in some problem we can use a symmetric property that is if uh, if you consider a symmetric uh, along x axis or along y axis or sometimes maybe along diagonal diagonal way the boundary values may be uh, coincide with each other so that we in such case we can use symmetric property but here in this problem we can't able to use symmetric property because all the boundary values are different. Uh, so here we have to find out u1, u2, u3, u4. All the four values we have to find out. So first let us start with the first iteration. So this is iteration method we are going to use. In the first iteration we have to start with u1. So if you start with u1, if you go for standard 5 point formula, uh, we have, will be having the formula uh, 1 by 4 into 20 plus 40 plus u2 plus u3 but if you use diagonal 5 point formula only u4 alone is unknown remaining all the boundary values are already existing value so let us start with uh, first with diagonal 5 point formula right so first uh, let us find out u1 using diagonal 5 point formula which means that we have to consider the value diagonally that is sum of values divided by 4 so 1 by 4 into what are the sum of values uh, 0 plus 20 plus u4 plus 40 so this we have applied using diagonal 5 point formula right similarly we have to uh, use standard 5 point formula in case of u2, u3 and u4 because once you know u4 then we can uh, it is easy to apply standard 5 point formula so u2 is equal to 1 by 4 into for u2 you have to use standard 5 point formula so we have to see the values which lies horizontally and vertically so it will be sum of u1 plus 20 plus 40 plus u4 so this we are using standard 5 point formula similarly what about u3 u3 is equal to again 1 by 4 into for u3 it is 40 plus u1 plus u4 plus 60 this is also standard 5 point formula right so now let me write here what about u4 u4 is equal to 1 by 4 into u3 plus u2 plus um, 50 plus 60 so this is the this is also standard 5 point formula okay so now we have to calculate the value of u1 u2 u3 and u4 u4 like this okay so here still all the values are unknown most probably if you notice u1 u2 u3 everywhere u4 is repeatedly used so once if you assume some value for u4 we can start the iteration so for the first iteration for the first iteration 
assume u4 equal to 0 when u4 is equal to 0 what will be u1 if you put in this formula u1 takes the value 15 similarly u2 takes the value 18.75 right and then u3 actually how to calculate u2 here u1 we can substitute it as 15 u4 can be substituted as 0 similarly to calculate u3 u1 is already we know it is 15 and u4 is considered as 0 so if you put you will be getting u3 is equal to 28.75 again what about u4 u4 this is a formula u2 u3 and u2 is already we have found out so substitute those values and calculate it it will give you 39.37 so now what we have to do these are the first iteration values right next is we have to from the second iteration onwards we have to use only standard 5 point formula always already u2 u3 u4 are already in standard 5 point formula but u1 is in diagonal 5 point formula right now we have to write down the formula for u separately from second iteration onwards using standard five point formula so let me write here okay now for the second iteration we have to use standard five point formula for all the four values so that for u1 again what will be the standard five point formula look at the diagram here u1 20 plus for 10 plus u2 plus u3 divided by 4 right similarly for u2 and u3 u4 already we have written you can use the same formula okay so starting from second iteration these are the four formulas we have to repeatedly use according to the values here so these values are already we have found out uh, under the first iteration that is u1 is 15 u2 is 18.75 28.75 and u4 is 39.37 now we have to start from u1 again for the second iteration for the second iteration here u1 equal to 1 by 4 into 20 plus 10 plus u2 you substitute 18.75 and u3 you substitute 28.75 so if we calculate you will be getting the value of u1 as what 19.38 similarly to calculate u2 you need u1 and u4 so what we have to do u1 is already we have calculated in the second iteration i have to take the new value so if you remember about the gauss seidel method we used to apply uh, the latest value okay so instead of taking 15 we have to apply 19.38 for this u1 and for u4 we have to take the previous value 39.37 so likewise if you find we will be getting the next value as 19.85 next u3 will be 29.85 again what about u4 u4 is equal to u3 u2 we need so this new u3 and u2 we have to put it in this equation u4 so that will give you 39.93 so like this we have to identify u1 u2 u3 u4 values using iteration method and we can find out the values so since it is iteration method we have to keep on repeating this process okay and finally at one point if all the values of u1 u2 u3 u4 for the consecutive iterations may be same okay you'll be getting it to be the same value so at that point you can stop the iteration and that will be the solution so here finally what about the solution is u1 is equal to 26.67 u2 is equal to 33.33 and u3 is equal to 43.33 and u4 is equal to 46.67 so these are the uh, values for u1 u2 u3 u4 so that we can uh, conclude the solution to be this so uh, by continuing this process we have to repeat the same process till the values are same for all the four terms that is u1 u2 u3 u4 the value should be same for consecutive iterations okay then finally we can end up with the solution and here for this particular problem this is a solution so you can 
do the iteration you try to complete the iteration and you can identify whether you are getting this answer or not